Hey, this is Jim Brewer, and you're watching Loudwire. Loud Wire! Yeah! Yeah! You know it's loud! Yeah! Hey, this is Jim Brewer, and I'm gonna uh, just randomly pick some topics out of the skull. Out of the skull. Go ahead, pick a topic. All right, what do we got here? Um, Glenn Danzig, the Misfits reunion. Let me tell you something about Glenn Danzig. I met him during the Metallica 30 year anniversary, okay? He was a little, little, you know, I was like, oh my God, it's Danzig. Mother! Right? So I'm, he's got a little leather jacket. He's talking about how he moved to LA. I said, oh, you used to live in New York? He's like, get out of here, I got too many fights. You fight? Who's 50 years old and fights? This guy's a mean, it's, he, I'm scared of him. So, cut to, I'm on Facebook. I'm doing the Metal Me podcast. And when the ACDC audition thing came out, as a goof, I was doing all these different singers, right? So, you know, I would do, ah, Bruce Dickinson, you know, hey, way to, hey, yeah, I'm on it. You know, what, I would do Halford and, and Motley Crue, like, uh, you know, shoot off rail, when a cow. And so I'm, I'm imitating all these, and one of them was dancing, back, back in black. And the video got a half a million views with Danzig. Now, there was a little part of me that went, what if he doesn't like this? And what if he comes after me? Cut to Brian Slagle of Metal Blade Records texts me while I'm on the road. I'm on the road already 10 days, and I'm halfway depressed. And I'm very sensitive, and I'm very vulnerable. And he shoots me a text going, Danzig saw your Facebook video, and he's pissed. And so I text him back and I went, he knows it was just goofing, right? He goes, he don't want to fucking hear it. Oh, dude, I, I put him up there with, with James Hetfield and Brian Johnson. He went, I don't know if you know Danzig, but he's coming in my office tomorrow and he is fucking pissed. Oh, and can you give me his personal number? So I can try to talk to the man and just let him know it was, I didn't mean any, any harm to him at all. It was like, I was, I thought I did it respectable, if anything. He went, dude, you have no clue. So now in my head, I'm a grown man, I got three kids. I don't think Dan, Danzig is not gonna just show up, go, hey man, I heard you. he's not gonna call. He's gonna show up at a fucking gig. And I'm gonna be walking off stage like, hey dude, Pow! So bang, bang! And I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna be in headlines. Brewer fucking knocked the fuck out by dancing. And I, I shit myself for a solid hour. And then all of a sudden, Rob Caggiano FaceTimes me. He's like, bro, bro, <laughs> you got punked. So what? And he shows he's with Brian Slager. He's like, yeah, we're just messing with you. So, so he didn't see the video? He's I don't know if he saw a video, but yeah, he ain't fucking pissed. I'm like, I'm gonna kill you guys. I just shit myself. So that's what I ever think of when I think of Glenn Danzig and the Misfits reunion. Almost get my ass kicked by Glenn Danzig. Bands with goat in their name. <laughs> um, I personally don't know any bands with goat in their name. I'm sure there are. I was tinkering on naming my band the Steel Goats. And I was gonna ride out, like the lights would go out, and all of a sudden you'd hear like, you, you know, when you go to a metal concert, you're like, like a weird, like Halford would come out with the motorcycle, like, you would just, you would go to blackness and you'd hear like, and then a big horn goat would come out out on the stage like the way Dio had a dragon. We're off to the witch, women! And the big dragon thing would come out. I wanted a goat to come out. 
with laser beam eyes. He had the big laser eyes. So I was this close. Matter of fact, I have a video called Old School. And the video Old School, at the end of it, you see in the background the banner that says Steel Goats. <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you this. I don't follow politics at all. I don't read newspapers. I don't follow politics. Matter of fact, to me, politics is not much different than professional wrestling. It's the same audience. It's the same mentality. They just dress different at this event. You know, it's like every four years, like, in this year comes, here comes the champion. I'm here to tell you, I'm going to help everyone in need. I don't care if you're gay, straight, a midget. I'm going to help you. <sighs> They're going to help us. They're going to help us. And here comes the challenger. <sighs> I can tell you this. I'm going to make us great again. <sighs> Who wants to be great? You want to be a loser or you want to be great? And I'll tell you what, we're going to start by building a wall. <laughs> we don't need no education. How many t-shirts did we sell? 14 million, sir. Fantastic. You need to up your character. It's, it's, I, you know when I know there's a debate is by just sitting in a coffee shop. And I watch people come in the next day like this. Did you watch a, did you watch the debate last night? Believe this shit, you believe this shit. Swear to God, man, this country's in the dumper. It's in the dumper. As they're ordering a tall latte, four shot, no mocha from Starbucks that they waited an hour in line. It's in the dumper. Call me when you need to get your food by throwing a rock at an animal. That's when the country is in a dumper. I'm leaving this country if that one's elected president. Where are you going? Are you going to Indonesia? Are you going to work on a cruise boat? Who are you kidding? You can't go anywhere. Where are you going to get a panini? You forget shit like paninis. You forget shit like, like Starbucks. And, and where are you going to buy a slinky? You know what fucking great slinkies are for your kids? Slinky, slinky. You think you're getting that shit in another country? You better step up, dummy. Dude, fucking, this is loud wire, huh? Huh? Is this fucking loud or what? I think it's absolutely fucking mad. <laughs>